Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain the brush and the magnet. Those are, are these tools are similar to each other, but a little difference between them. It's in a mesh menu, in a move, and here. <clears throat> and dock the menu and keep it here. And we have a plane that I want to uh, select and move it. This is a, oh, sorry. I bring a plane here and for more better understanding the tools also you can use this you can add a more segment to width and height and then make it editable these tools brush and magnet are working in three component mode as you can see, you can go into the point, or for example, go into the point mode. The first tool is brush. I, fair, I first explain the brush tool. As you can see, this is our brush. The first thing that you can ch change size, uh, the brush size. You can hold your middle mouse button to the left or right to the changing the size of that. Hold middle, middle mouse button and up and down. You can change the strengths, how the strengths of this tool. As you can see, you can click and drag to move the objects, to move the component, move the points. The first thing that is very important is the mood. Which mode do you want? Smear mode is a simple uh, clicking and dragging. You can uh, move up, down left or right exactly aligned to the camera view and this is a smear and another thing is pull you can pull as you can see you can pull exactly if you click and drag click and drag click and drag this part is going toward your camera it's a pull option and another thing he is important here it's a fall off we have a lot of fall off control linear doom bells it's better than a bell or you can define a spline for your fall off it means exactly this image if you want to pull or bring the geometry for example this is a constant this is a linear doom needle or bell it's it's a fall off how the topology, for example, in the pool going up. Okay, it's the shape of the, and it's the default the, the bell. And here you can change the pool, the surface, as you can see, for example, you can click and drag and move like a surface. Here is a normal. As you can see, it's uh, pulled object aligns normal. Triple. It's actually expand up the polygons um, according to the camera view. Spin. If you want to, for example, this way, or if you want to go to the other way, the negative way is holding control. If you hold in control, you can do it. For example, in a pull version, if you pull out, you can uh, click and drag. If you go, if you want to go inside, you can hold control and click and drag that area. Let's go inside. So uh, the negative, the positive uh, uh, comment of these tools or moves are holding control. Twister, it's something like this. If you want and the smooth the vortex something like this it's going toward your camera it's interesting mode and the uh, smooth mode it's smoothing all of its your works as you can see it's smoothing this tool if for example if you are in a um, vortex if you're holding shift No, in this mode it does not work. If you want to go this direction, for a smooth thing you have to choose a smooth. To a smooth thing, your for example, as you can see in this mode, you can smooth thing your polygons. Interesting. 
Another thing is relax. For example, in this relax, so I show you this image here. For example, we have a polygon like this. And when you uh, select a brush in a relax mode, it's look at the topology of your objects and it's relax this points like this okay it's an important brush that you can use the main uh, the most important difference between the brush and the magnet tool as you can see if you go into the magnet tool you can see exactly those settings in a brush the main difference between a uh, brush and the magnet is a paint mode it's very important as you can see as i said before if you click and drag you can paint a vertex map to your object. It's very important. You can paint it. And you can use it a lot in the software. So if you want to paint, you have to go to the brush and the paint mode. If you want to blur your segment selection, I explained them before. You can refer to previous lessons. <clears throat> you can bleed. For example, if you click and drag, Offside, you cannot uh, see anything. You have to connect into your existing uh, <clears throat> uh, maps, and it's bleeding. As you can see, it's uh, beginning from the center of the circle and go like bleeding to the uh, outer side of circle. And here is the intensity. For example, as you can see here, we have the full. Uh, strings of the map and go blur to the edge and here you can as you can see you can uh, strings the borders you cannot add any <clears throat> red color just you can make them 100% strings at the borders with the intensity okay so you can do it and here you can take a visible only for example if you uh, as you can see we are in the this mode so if you select outside you can deselect that select the landscape again select brush tool you can for example if we have a circle you can just uh, select a visible only as you can see you can just uh, I'm in intensity, for example, I'm going to hmm, pull, for example. You can just select visible only. Another interesting and important thing is uh, is a surface. The preview is this circle you can see or not. Uh, this is uh, the most important thing here, surface. If you click and drag, or for example, um, I select ripple. As you can see, if you are in a direct, if you are in this direction, you go up, all of the uh, surface beyond that will be affected because it, the software does not uh, recognize these surfaces. Just, it just recognize the camera direction and do everything in that direction. But if you click the surface, the most important thing is here. You can almost do that. If you click and drag, as you can see, just this surface and going up, as you can see, it recognizes the surface and just uh, affect the surface that you can see. As you can see, if if this surface is behind that, it does not affect it. And it's very more important if you want. And this is on fall off. You can assign the fall off. Uh, in some cases, you can see the fall off. The bell is most uh, better for fall off. and going to the for example pool and the most important thing is here you can assign the which uh, direction for example this pool uh, happen okay for example i want to just it's go up direction in a y-axis so you can 
uh, make x and z axis zero and as you can see it just going up you can assign in which direction this pole effect do you want to go okay this is in a word uh, coordination and you know the difference between object and word in this case uh, the word and the object coordination is as the same but you for example you rotate object the axis object are rotated and you can assign it to, to the word this is a brush the magnet is exactly like a brush uh, but the most different between these sitting these tools are for example if you select a magnet as you can see with uh, the, the first different is that it does not have paint mode okay the paint mode is in a brush and the magnet just act like a magnet you can click and drag just uh, move the object move the polygons with a brush for example, if you want to pull, just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. It's doing like that. But in a magnet, if you click and drag, just as you can see, you can move your objects, move your points. It does not need to click and drag, click and drag. Just click, drag, pull up, pull down. Okay. It's, a fair, it's the second difference between them. And the, all of the settings are the same before the surface visible only preview the nearest point it means like this if you going in this direction and make it very small as you can see if you are in this mode it's automatically find the nearest point if you deactivate it as you can see you have to go exactly to that point to select it this is the nearest point and a snap to the view as you can see okay that's it you can use the magnet and a brush to deform your objects hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release